Hello and welcome back to The Evil Within. This is episode 32. I'm Sarcasm. And uh, we're continuing. We've made it back to the uh, business district where we had the theater that we confronted Stefano in. And uh, this is Theodore's Tower, that flaming citadel in the entrance. He's got a stronghold. Uh, we're exploring the area. It has changed quite a bit. Uh, and there's new monsters. I really want to take these zombies out and get what they have, but I'm very concerned about the threat of the big guy. I don't have ammo to really deal with him, so I think it would be wise for me to just keep my distance until I have a chance to rearm and come back more prepared. Man, it's horrible. Imagine all these people being manipulated by that guy. The reason most of these people are in here is because of that guy, and they've all died horrible, horrible deaths. And it's not completely his fault, but like, like he's the one that recruited people to come in there. It's just that uh, it's really sad. I mean, look at that. Look at it. Give me just a second. I have to take some Alka Seltzer. I rinse it with water because I noticed that <clears throat> part of it deposits at the bottom. Swirl it around. <clears throat> Finish the rest of that. <clears throat> I've been, I've just started using uh, Alka Seltzer to help a little bit with uh, controlling my coughing. I, I can't get an appointment in with my physician for quite some time to deal with the asthma, so <clears throat> this is a temporary solution for this recording session. Yeah, it's pretty savage. Okay, we've got another purifier. I don't know if you can see him in the middle of the screen. Let's see if I put across here. That guy, I see the outline of the flamethrower. I don't have the means to take him on unless I get him over here and I can smoke bomb him until he's dead. Um, why, why are you crouching? Stop it. Assume the party submission position. No. I'm not gonna lie, I think the flamethrower would be pretty rad. Cool. I've never had the max ammo of anything, so... It's weird to play it on this difficulty. Like, I've never played it before, granted, but it's just weird how I keep getting upgrade items intended to let me carry ammo for everything, and I just don't have ammo for everything. I never feel like I'll use that. I wonder if that's tainted my impression of the game. Maybe I should have played it on the uh, intended difficulty, but I really did like the difficulty of the first game. It really made it feel challenging. What is that? Why do I feel like I'm in danger? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. How bizarre. Why is it doing this? Stop it. All right, I'm coming back. We're canvassing the area. I can't just... Why? Stop it. Four smoke bolts. Maybe we can. Maybe. Might be a good spot to trap. Yes. 
something that do it? Right. That's it. The last piece I need. Okay, I didn't think it would be so much more effective to do sneak attacks than it would be to shoot. But now I know. Now I know. What? Are you checking his butt? What? <laughs> okay, Sebastian. I just, uh, hmm. There's some chocolate in here. <laughs> that was bizarre, dude. Not gonna lie. All right. Oh, hello there. I really don't want to do it, but I don't have a choice. I wouldn't... Uh, it's been a long time since I've found one of those, so... I feel good about that. So now I can build a flamethrower. Huh. Oh. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a bit elated. I'm grateful that I was able to take out that monster right there. So two purifiers down. I don't know why I'm calling them purifiers. It's just what comes to mind when I see a gas mask flamethrower. It just seems like Theodore's kind of uh, thing, man. No wonder he's such a bad guy. His parents named him Theodore. Nothing against anyone who's named Theodore. I just it's such an uncommon name. It makes me wonder, like, would you be mad if you were named Theodore? Like, would you feel like, oh man, everyone's gonna make fun of me? Like, I, I don't know if I would be upset, but, I mean, I don't think I'd be as upset as Theodore, but I'm just, why is Theodore such a bad dude? We could take those three out. It's just, do we do it? You know what? Let's play it smart. Because we don't have to lure him out. That went well. I didn't know big guy was just gonna walk up, wander off. Like, okay, works fine for me. As long as you stay over there, I don't want anything to do with your explosion. To still make progress towards Sykes, but we're starting to run out of important survival materials. So, 
my question is, do I go back yet, or uh, do I continue to press onwards and try to try to continue scavenging? There's one guy I really don't want to try to take on. It's him. You know, it's got, it's got me wondering, why no incendiary bolts? I see the guy just sitting there. Okay, that was, that was a weird glitch. Alright, so I'm just gonna... I didn't realize there's a vending machine over here. I might be able to get something out of it. Third time's the charm? Haha! -ha! It is! Alright, well. I won't keep going at it, uh. Two of the big guys. Three of the big guys and flame dudes. Hmm. The flame dudes are not too bad, but. Big guys. They're bad. Take a look, see what we can find. Let's see where everything is. I can't. I can't see where anything is. Okay. Um, here's the deal. If I run out of, you know, after the last smoke bolt, I've got to go back. I can't just, uh, I can't, I can't try to take these guys on. That's not going to go well. I don't know if freezing them would do anything for me. Can I go over here? No. Okay. <clears throat> I'm up there. Oh, that would have been cool, but nope. Oh, uh, okay. I was about to say, I hope I'm not stuck. That would be really bad. Hmm. We're gonna have to be careful here. is coming back. Just hope he doesn't see me here.
maybe maybe Cryo is not bad. But then again, let's not assume. They are flame They are flame dudes. It could have something to do with the flame. If I'm being honest. What a glitch. Stem is really destabilizing, huh? Some of these glitches are bizarre. I, I don't I don't really know if it's just the game is older and that's why it's struggling, but I really need to get some ammo because I'm not really uh, feeling it right now. Well, I'm considering now that I should level up the uh, the cryo. Oh, hello. Didn't see you. Glad I came back. I like how we lock the doors like that. Is that really going to stop these monsters? Stop meowing, please. I don't like it. We can also look and see. Okay. I mean, area of effect. I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Right now, right now we need to decraft. Flamethrower. This odd weapon can be used to quickly fill an area with flaming liquid. It is heavy and cumbersome, often uh, enough to restrict movement. Fuel will be loaded into the flamethrower immediately upon crafting. You will stow the flamethrower on your back, allowing you to move freely. So... Ah, <sighs> frustration. So I don't have a lot of fuel then. Okay, feel good about that. I feel good about that too. Let's go see about brain upgrades. <clears throat> I'm just Detective I Castellanos. Good to see you again. Thank you. What are you gonna say? Don't you think it's time that you move? I think you should be quiet. Nice. That's a big help. So... Oh, 
don't want that. I want that also, and I want this. Well. Alright, we'll just, we'll, we'll hold off on anything for right now. Well, this has been an interesting episode, so let's go ahead and reload this. 45 is not bad. Um, it'll allow me to test the uh, freeze bolt out and see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to save here. continue our investigation. We're going to grab a coffee, though. We need the help. <sighs> Used every coffee maker at least once. Interesting. Didn't realize that was the only one I hadn't really used. Actually, it might be uh, best to take on the isolated big boy first. Since he's closer, I've got a uh, better opportunity to deal with him now. So, they don't shatter. At least I don't think that'll be a viable strategy. So, that's unfortunate. And uh, without how much ammo it took to go through, it was like almost a whole clip. Oh, <laughs> 
Right by where uh, Sykes safe house is. So I say we're making decent progress then. There would be boxes over here. put this on five just because I'm not really seeing a point with the rifle anymore. Nice try. You can't you can't do anything to me. I'm, I'm too powerful. I'm with it. I'm with it, man. You're just, you're just, you're just not gonna be able to do that to me. Y'all are basic zombies. I'm dealing with special zombies now. I really want to go to Sykes, but I'm all, you know, I'm still trying to loot here, so. Let me grab this last item, I'll uh, end the episode, and we'll, we'll go to Sykes in episode 33, so, come on. Anything else? I don't see anything else. Alright, well, that was episode 32. If you've enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more of The Evil Within 2. I'm Sarcasm, and uh, we're going to go to Sykes in episode 33. Now, I would also uh ask that you please consider leaving a message down below to let me know did you like the video am i talking too much too little is there uh things i'm missing is there anything you want to tell me just let me know uh it it helps me make better content and it can it also helps the algorithm uh so if you don't mind it would be greatly appreciated i'll see you guys in episode 33 sarcasm out bye